Okay, this is a tutorial on how to get your PS3 6-axis controller to work with your PC on Vista 32-bit. I'm not sure if this will work on 64, I haven't tried it yet, but I know it will work on 32. Okay, the first thing you need to do is go to Google and do a search for PS3 6-axis. underscore en.exe which is basically what I just did a search for go to the first result click on the link you can download the file, it's a raw file, I like to use something like 7-zip to open it and if you can't find this website just you know any website that's got this file I'll show you what's on the inside what you're actually going to need You'll see these three files on the inside, a uh, libusb132 filter installer, it's a driver, a uh, libusb0 DLL file, and a P PS3 6-axis English executable. I've already unzipped these, so... As soon as it follows my mouse, go to PS3, go to wherever you unzipped it. Now very important when you install this filter the filter drivers the USB filter drivers run them in compatibility mode compatibility from Windows XP SP2 if you do not it will lock up your USB ports they will become unfunctional and you'll have to use your Windows Vista install CD and run system restore and hope to, and hope you have a restore port like I did Now after that, you know, install it, go through it. Now temporarily during the install it will take a while and you'll, your USB ports will become functional and non-functional a couple of times, but just let it finish and you'll be fine. After that, from this exe file, I ran it with admin rights. You know, I'll actually get up a command line window and show you what actually it's going to uh, show. And it uh, gave you some output, found the PS3 6 axis controller, blah 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 blah. Some other cool stuff. And I just run it from the command line with admin rights. It may run without it, but I just run it with admin just to be sure. Okay, so now go to make sure you have your USB controller plugged in before you run that executable, by the way. Go to the control panel. Hardware, game controllers, you see your PlayStation 3 controller listed, go to properties, get a window like this, and you should test your left analog stick and that should move if it doesn't, just hit the PS3 button and then wait a second or two and it should work just fine. As you can see, it's lighting up from when I'm pushing buttons. And it's pretty much as simple as that. Now, we'll see if there's a Bluetooth way to do this, but I just wanted to put this tutorial out there because I had some trouble with some other methods that didn't really work as I thought they would. And this has been another tutorial by Josh. Have a great day, guys. Later.